if you're watching in the UK, you may want to look away now. Petrol in America below $2 a gallon. That's little more than 30 pence a litre. Leaving drivers in Dallas delighted at the pumps. It's excellent. I do most of my work driving. So having it this cheap brings down costs for my customers and um, it's just wonderful for me, just at Christmas time. I just noticed it, that it's $1.99. I cannot believe that. Loving it. All right, it means I can drive a whole lot more and uh, plan a vacation this summer. To understand what's going on with oil prices, we went to West Texas. For the last five years, they've ridden one of the biggest oil booms in history here. Which of course is the kind of oil Paul Kenworthy oil. owns 10 oil wells tapping the Permian Basin. Yes. We are pumping out light, sweet, West Texas intermediate crude oil. How much is this here worth less than it was before what they call Black Friday when the price just plummeted? Since June, from say $95 down to $55. So, you know, you can see it's what, 40 plus percent less. So that's worth about 40% less than it was, would have been a few weeks ago. Correct. And how does that make you feel? Poorer. Paul has seen oil prices rise and plunge before, but when OPEC refused to cut production, it came as a shock to many here, even if people understand what the oil cartel's up to. To use a line from uh, The Godfather, it's uh, business, it's not personal. Uh, they are trying to maintain a uh, market share and uh, uh, they're going to do what it takes to maintain that market share. So it's a price war? The effect of it is a price war. Is a manufacturer An OPEC US oil so price war threatens the drillers valve. and those depending on their business. Duty, oil uh, equipment uh, supplier Pat Kirby says people are bracing themselves for what could be on its way. I know some people that uh, spend a lot of money, uh, private jets and so forth. Um, you know, hopefully they've been tucking cash away as well. Good times never roll forever. Um, sometimes the gravy train does get derailed. Making it harder for America's oil industry is the knowledge it's become a victim of its own success. One of the reasons for oil prices plummeting has been OPEC's activities. It's also because demand for oil in Europe and Asia has been going down. But a lot of it has to do with this fracking in America and the huge increase in oil production here as a result. From the air, the extent of fracking is staggering. Until a few years ago, there were hardly any wells in this stretch of West Texas. If you look at the, the in the citadels of the oil industry in Dallas, they're pondering multi-billion dollar questions. How long will this go on for, and how low can the oil price go? If it were to rebound, let's say in the first half of 2015, up to 65 or $70 a barrel, I think on balance it will help the recovery. If it were to drop further, I think it'll harm the recovery. So there's a lot at stake here, not just for America, but for the rest of the world. There is a lot at stake for the rest of the world. America's recovery has been driven in part by its oil boom. Lower prices will help that, but up to a point. If they fall too low, the US oil industry enters a twilight zone, and with it, America's economy and ours too. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News, Dallas, Texas.